Snake. Located in the heart of Edinburgh's old town, with a prime position next to the historic Royal Mile, exists a unique visitor attraction which has acquired quite a reputation for its paranormal activity. Mary King's Close, along with neighbouring closes, is within the main centre of the most vibrant streets filled with traders and residents alike. It would have been home to people, businesses, storage spaces and the heart of a busy everyday life in the city. This unique underground location was once named King's Close, with some historical documents also listing it as Alexander King's Close. This was in the days before the famous and much liked local Mary King became a resident. In Scotland, closes and wines are most likely named after prominent members of society. Whether this a lawyer, sheriff or historical figures, it was seen as a great privilege to have such named after you. Of course, this would mostly be male members of society in those early days in Scotland's history. So for Mary King, who was a prominent businesswoman in the local Old Town Society, to have a close named after her shows a great respect and status. Mysteries, myths and folklore surround this location. And it comes as no surprise that reported sightings of spirits and ghosts are prevalent. But is Mary King's Close really haunted? Mary King's Close is often cited as one of the most haunted locations in Scotland, if not the world. The first filed historical sighting that we find dates back to around the 1685 period and involves the Colhart family. The family moved into Mary King's Close after the last outbreak of the plague that ravaged the area. And it was shortly after this that Thomas Coldheart and his wife experienced apparitions and unknown phantom energies in the close. The files of paranormal activity we have with relation to Mary King's Close also show reported incidences that are known and not so known. Such include, but not limited to, a worried man who wanders the area a woman in black, often sighted, and a little girl called Annie who allegedly spoke to the famous Japanese psychic. We asked paranormal investigator Ryan O'Neill veteran of many investigations by Scottish Paranormal, based in Fife, to take part in our investigation within Coalhouse Fort.
Can you say one of the meters off in here? No. Let's trace off here, Paddy comes in. Is that this again? It's quite I'm going to put just a slight in corner. Who's it that's a fake the equipment? Just Not me. 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 Go okay, this is your chance to communicate with us in here. Yeah. Do we have Andrew Chesney with us? Yes. Yes. And for you. Meet the Trichet. Oh, I'm reading. Thank you. Are you a child? Once we ask for a note. 